Hello and welcome to another episode of Boldly Going. It is I, Merlin, sometimes known as Joe, and I've got the film fanatics here with me today. I've got Dan over there, hey. Justin over here. How's it going? Today we're going back to talk about Voyager, and what episode is this again? This is Elogium. Elogium. What an unfortunate name. Uh, you know what, and oh, with man. that, you know, talk about this episode for me, Dan. Tell me. Okay. Give, give me a synopsis. Oh, please do. Explain sure. it to me, because Voyager Season 2, let's go. Okay, yep, we're in uh, Season 2 now, and a few episodes in, really. Justin's having a hard time already, um, you can tell. <laughs> so there's these space dwelling life forms that are sort of circling uh, the Voyager. They are, and so Cass enters a fertility phase because of them, called Elogium, because <laughs> she's eating a lot of bugs, and it puts pressure on her relationship with Neelix. Uh, which I'll be honest, I don't, don't, I don't even remember that. Ha- like, yeah, they hooked up at the beginning. Remember? Yeah, they the were... beginning of the series. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't remember that from a year and a half ago. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's fair. I that's, mean, you know. They're, they're, they're kind of an item. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, there's less references to this than O'Brien's wife on Deep Space Nine. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, fine. They're in a relationship. Uh, <laughs> so How's she, that work? Once she wants to him. have his baby now because yes. she's in this fertility phase. However, she's still very young in the world of whatever she is. <laughs> an acapella. An, an, Panin or something. I don't know what she's called. Um, something. What? Ocup- and Ocup- I don't care much. Oc- for Ocup- Pan or something. What's, uh, anyway, she's only got one chance Ocup- because once they go through f- f- puberty and fertility or whatever, they only have one thing. So they're debating that, and meanwhile, the Voyager tries incredibly hard to escape the swarm of the life forms without hurting them at all. Um, so that's the, the episode. It's. Pretty bad. <laughs> like, like, so, no, I, I don't know. Horrible might be strong. I don't think it's like the worst, but it's just so completely unmemorable. Well, yeah. I don't really care for either of those characters. Cass is a terrible actress. <laughs> I don't care about her character. <laughs> Neelix is okay when he's, you know... Cooking? He's cooking and Janeway's like, hey, what, what are you cooking? You know, when they do the cooking hour... Uh, it's, it's all right. You know, Neelix is chef's corner. But when, when, when we're talking about, like, them having sex and, you know, let's make a baby and then... Plot points nobody wanted. And then by the end, we realized that, like, it was all for naught anyway because it turns out, oh, wait. I, I know, but we do spoilers yeah, on this show because yeah, anybody yeah. watching this has already seen this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to imagine. Yeah. Um... So at the end, they're like, oh, well, just kidding. Like, it turns out I'm, I I can be fertile later, too, probably. So let's put that on the back burner. And then it's just... Uh, Janeway wasn't in it at all again. She was in, like, one scene. Classic. Classic. She does nothing. Um, they just don't know... Well, the doctor was in it a little bit. I like that when, when <laughs> they thought she was sick instead of... Pubescent, so they, hey, they took her to the doctor. Tarantino moment. He's suggesting that you don't like the Neelix centric episodes. Uh, this is, I think, the first one. Jutrell. So, no, I'll say no. Yeah, I guess Jatrell, which was a good one. It was. It yeah. was. But this one ain't, isn't. Oh, like, look, so. without question. Before you guys hate on it too much, though, it's not fully to blame for this because, as we know, Star Trek likes to recycle ideas. Next Gen did the first space alien uh, rape thing. Oh, is that right? Yeah, so. Deanna Troy? Yes, of course. Uh, where right she's there. like, oh, how? All right, how? How could I? <laughs> how could I get? So that yeah, that's wrong. kind of this is an idea from there that's similar, but they don't make as big a deal about it because of the. Well, actually, they don't make a big deal about it all. But that's a whole ball. I, I don't think it's horrible. I mean, I guess it. You don't like it. Raises either. some questions about. You stretch parenting and young parent. You know, it's like you trying. Well, but it, so was this. <laughs> yeah. So was the episode. It's pretty bad. Look, I've seen worse. Though is the point. I know this wasn't like I hated it so much. It just was very unmemorable. It was boring. Kind of dumb. It was yeah. So I, it's a D plus for me. Oh wow, Justin, tell me you liked it more than that. Is it possible? Oh no, oh. no. I think it's <laughs> no. Oh no. This okay, is tell me. This yeah. is probably the third time I've got done. I finished up a. Uh, vo- a Star Trek episode. I won't say Voyager. Oh. Just a Star Trek episode in general. And I just thought, seriously, what the heck did I just watch? And no fun. It's it's not even like in a goofy, campy way. It's just bad. Oh. And I think the most maddeningly frustrating thing is when Voyager's writing is good. It's great. Mm-hmm. When it's not, holy crap! 
yeah. you get used to characters, and then they're horribly written in another episode. It's, and this is a prime example of that. It's pretty legendary, to be honest. Which is strange because I was reading up on it while I was watching it, and apparently the like crew really liked this episode. And I'm just thinking, I don't know what. They had fun what? making it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They like, had like a food fight on Satter's Hub. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. And another case of cast clearly had much more fun than we did. But well, you know, I guess you got to take that into account, maybe. Uh, no, that's Not that's so much. why blooper reels died out. But Ooh, well, some people like a good blooper. Here and there. Here and there. But I, I'm getting way off topic. I mean, Neelix, once again... Not a fan? ...can go from quasi-sympathetic to just complete and utter jerk. It's up there in this time. And really, the p- comparison I found myself making throughout this is sort of what we keep referring to as Big Fat Troy Wedding. Yeah. yeah. This one's not even Big Fat Troy Wedding. This is just Star Trek the soap opera. Yeah, it's very soapy. <laughs> I want to have a baby. Okay, operate. we're trying to finally inject feminism into Star Trek, and then we go into, oh, w- no, women are only supposed to want to be mommies. Well, definitely a lot of Yay, male, feminism. male guys writing on Voyager even. I know yeah, there are there's yeah. some, some guys, I know they, they shift that around a little, but it's a very... And, and of course, Neelix has cold feet about it. But, of course he does. Yeah. And there's the whole, oh, wait, we all are going to be paired off. Is that really the case, Janeway, seriously? <laughs> Well, it's an, I, I mean, idea. yes, I, I get it. It's it's deep space. You don't know if you're ever going to see home again. It gets lonely. You gotta get plans. understood. Gotta get plans. Un- understood. But <laughs> the phrasing of that comment was <laughs> you're uh, questionable at best. Whether you want to or not. And, and then, directive. <laughs> do it for yeah, federation. <laughs> oh man, I just went to a side of my brain. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to come back from. Do it for the federation, <laughs> Justin. But uh, and then we get to the actual point with the whole protozoa alien things that are Illusion. literally humping the ship <laughs> yeah they they are they are that yeah the metaphor is definitely there yeah yeah it's, it's I, like cameron I, diaz it, in that movie uh uh, uh the counselor <laughs> yeah the, the, stick. the counselor and star trek have now come Full. come together in a terrifying well the the federation deals with their own laws and the counselor was about law or something That's right. so we think order and chaos supposedly but we can watch that again sometime nope. <laughs> drinking game okay <laughs> off topic yeah there it is there, there it is, is. There, there it is. is i agree but anyway but, um you tell me what, what any final thoughts justin <laughs> but with this one it's just an episode that starts out kind of interesting in a campy way and just goes so far <laughs> monumentally off the rails that it's like a bad soap opera with just sci-fi thrown in for for a change of pace. Yeah. It's it's bad Voyager writing all the way. So what's your grade? Oh, it's an F. Oh, wow. Well, it's interesting. You don't know a D minus, so I have to well, I have to compensate. That's true. That's true. That's fair. No, straight F. It's kind of funny. See, this episode for me is a bad episode, but I think it's kind of hilarious. So it kind of goes into guilty pleasure status for me. Okay. Uh, but it's it's not it's not very good. But I find the soap opera stuff kind of funny. I think Neelix is. See, I have this sort of love hate relationship with him. Like I, I hate him, but I love to hate him. Mm-hmm. Whereas you know Jake Cisco's son, you know, I just don't you like just him. Hate him. I yeah. just don't like him because he's annoying. Like, like Neelix is like he's kind of entertaining. I, I kind of think he's likable sometimes. His relationship with Kess, though, it's good they decided to do something with it, but it's it's just not defined at all yet. It just doesn't end. Yeah, the, the fact that they're deciding to explore these avenues with his character. But I, I don't know. The space right, aliens humping the ship is pretty great. You know, it's pretty pretty hilarious stuff. Uh, yeah, Janeway's not there. It's just... No. Nope. I mean, just, she's in there in spurs, but it's... it's, it's, it's not she's so badly written in this episode, it's... Well, you're right. There's a lot of bad episodes, but uh, this one I just found kind of funny, personally. <laughs> it's the thing with the C-. Oh, okay. I think it's pretty great. The highest. <laughs> Because sympathy for elogium. So, so it's it's just it's so bad. It's just it's, it's so, very it's, bad. It's so bad. It's good to me though. Yeah. Um. There are there are some dumb, there are some dumb and offensive Voyager episodes. But like I said, there is some really good Voyager writing. You point out. But this is perfect time to wrap up for a trek. Who do you guys think won this round again? Who was it? Let's see. I think I might give it to Next Gen. Actually. Yeah, I was thinking Next Gen was good. Which one was that though? I remember we liked that was it. the uh, Klingon episode. Yes, with uh, with the. Uh, Trader guy. Yeah, that was pretty good. Cause TOS was like decent, but it was the time travel. The, yeah, compared yeah. to the recent T 
TOS ones we had done, it was the one with like the army yep. base or whatever. And we were trying to like, uh, okay. Bajor on DS9 was too much again. That was terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I agree. I think Next Gen actually gets it this month. What? That's an upset. But yeah. hey, it has to happen eventually. Wait. I think it only maybe happened once. Give it enough time, it'll be taken in every week. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Very true. Like a year from now. <laughs> oh, it's a long and arduous uh, road. The next Cass and but, Millix, but uh, this is the thing, I'm though. Sure. By the time, oh, can't wait. by the time we get to third episode of next, uh, excuse me, third season of Next Gen, we'll be done with TOS, so we got to start doing Enterprise. No, <laughs> we won't do it. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just cycle through every three weeks. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Yeah. Just throw in a random one. Animated, maybe. Yeah, okay. Animated, I'm fine well, with. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah. It's still a while. Right. But we'll wrap it up, guys. Let us know what you thought about Voyager and the other episodes. Check out the other ones on our channel here, and always mine, too. But I'm going to say goodbye for tonight. You guys can, too. All right, yep. See ya. See you around.